so excited and I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control and I think I like it. Oh yeah, you know what I like even more? That I get to bring you all along with me to the 4th of July celebration by the Miami Symphony live from Coconut Grove, Florida at Peacock Park. But before we go, I wanna thank our servicemen and women for their service to our nation on behalf of myself and Latin Connection TV and of course the Miami Symphony. So before we go, I wanna see what you think of my outfit. I tried to keep it, you know, very 4th of July. What do you think? Am I ready? I think we're all ready to go and see what the Miami Symphony has in store for all of us. Happy 4th of July! Yay! The event took place in Peacock Park in the city of Miami, and it was a huge success attended by many who came to enjoy the fabulous performance of the Miami Symphony Orchestra, exquisitely conducted as always by Maestro Eduardo Marturet. It was an evening filled with a variety of performances like vocalist Claudia Lopez with a rendition of Gloria Stefan's No Será Fácil. One of the highlights of the evening was a special announcement by Mayor Francis Suarez, the guest of honor. The Miami Symphony Orchestra, which has been designated by the city of Miami thanks to the intervention of Maestro Eduardo Marturat as the official symphony orchestra of the city of Miami. Mayor Suarez also surprised everyone with a hidden talent by conducting the national anthem. I've always wanted to do this, by the way. First of all, of course, congratulations on being the first mayor born here and on winning. But more importantly, I think you would agree with me, how was it to conduct the symphony tonight? Well, I mean, I have a newfound respect for the conductor because I only conducted one song. It was a very simple song, two minutes, and I was tired. So I can only imagine what it would have been like to conduct the other 58 minutes. He was, he was all over the place and uh, he was phenomenal. Just an incredible show, the orchestra with the light show. We've never had anything like this in the world. Breathtaking. That's what I want to say, you know, compared to all your wins, you know, that's got to be your biggest achievement. Come on. I'll tell you, <laughs> it was my proudest moment. I really felt very proud. Very proud. Well, that was wonderful to see you doing that. And Maestro, how did you feel giving up your most precious baton? I felt what I always knew. This man is so talented in any, many, many, many ways, as we know that he would do great like he did. I have so much respect for him. I knew it, and we all know it. That we love him so much. He is the greatest talented politician in this country. As if those weren't enough highlights, the evening continued with a dazzling drone show, accompanied by the Miami Symphony Orchestra's impeccable rendition of the Star Wars theme. The show was spectacular, unique, and dazzling, not only for your ears, but also for your eyes. One after another, Miami and patriotic-themed creations appeared magically in the foreground of a beautiful sky. And of course, what's a Miami 4th of July celebration without a typical Cafecito Cubano, Cuban coffee. Happy 4th of July! Yay. I'm Rita Varios, wishing you all continued blessings and thanking you all for watching. Until next time. <laughs>